guys? It is time to show off a radioactive build. I have not done one of these in a while. I've been out of the bun straps and uh, should be having some more come, but I had this green one on hand and I thought, let's do something cool. So we've got a custom green painted radioactive dial. I did a bead blasted uh, case and a bead blasted low profile coin bezel. This has a green ceramic insert in there. And then I did an Omega style handset with a custom painted second hand. Um, matching bead blasted buckle on here. And then this is on one of my radioactive straps. Um, custom branded. Uh, got your radioactive logos on both sides. You also have it on your uh, crown. And then this has a removable bund on here. So you can slide this off on both sides. You'd have to take the buckle off on this side to actually get this off. But we custom cut this to fit a large window exhibition case back. So you get to see everything in the movement there. Um, black rotor, stainless steel movement holder. Uh, it's got the little protective dealio over top of it. And um, what is that on the dial? Is that gone? Oh, yep, it's gone. It's hard to look through this little camera and see what other things going on. So, um, automatic mechanical, you can wind it. You can, Actually, let's just go over the, the bezel. Bezels will turn left. It will turn right. It's on there decently tight. It does not come out to the side, so you shouldn't accidentally bump it on there. Um, they are just tension ring bezels. And then as I was getting to it, it's an automatic mechanical, so you can wind it. You can wear it. You can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it up just before you put it on. If you're driving or something like that. Um, how you do that is you're going to back the crown off the threads. You might find that that bund is a little bit in your way, but it's actually not. If you can just grab it there. If you have to push this down, no big deal. You can do that. Just push it back up against it. And uh, make sure it's contoured against there. It should pop right back in. And then when you're bending it, that holds that pressure up against that. But anyway, back it off the crown, or back it off the crown tubes. So you hear it and feel it clicking at that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing and just go back and forth. Especially if you don't feel like you have as much room if you don't push that backside of that bun down. So if you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day. And if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're gonna max out that 31 hour power reserve. You cannot overwind it. You can wind it all day if you'd like. When you're comfortable with your winding, pull it to the one and only click. You can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. Um, man, this little freaking thing is driving me nuts. Burlap sack doesn't help. Um, you also notice you've got a wobble crown that deflects a lateral pressure from the one end to the stem and into the movement. So when you're pushing and prying out, you're not going to bend anything. It's just going to deflect that pressure. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 3.03 p.m. 3.03 p.m. When you're good, push it over, get it out of that time setting. And then crank it down. That is your build. And then just push everything back around. I had them cut, I think about a, a half a millimeter larger than the exhibition case back on there. So it fits and it stays tight, but I did it kind of tight so it would kind of stay on there. But um, so yeah, so that's the build. If it's going to you, congrats. I don't know when I'm putting it up yet, but uh, it will be going to somebody and they will love it. As with everybody, it's going to come with matching beads. Entirely up to you how stylish you are you want to wear them with it or not. You're also going to have this uh, dial matching custom radioactive box. It's going to come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts. So everything there in the center, non-toxic, non-streaking, non-residue. And then you're also going to have some uh, leather conditioner. This keeps that strap perfectly soft. If you ever feel that it's getting uh, rough, apply it on the front and back. Let it soak in, remove any excess. And then lastly, some fine scratch remover. You've got an acrylic glass on here and you can scratch it, but if you do put a tiny bit of this on it, buff against it using your included microfiber. So if you got to scratch up and down, buff left and right, polish it with this. And in about 20 seconds, you should have that scratch knocked completely out. So that is the build. Like I said, if it's going to you, congrats. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you a ton. 
And um, if you want me to go do something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks for hanging out.